Howdy members and welcome to this Index Game video where we're proud to announce the launch of our new portfolio manager and player screener tool called MyIG. If you're an existing premium member, head over to the Index Game website, log in, and you'll be presented with your Index Game members dashboard where you will notice that there is a link in the navigation for MyIG and a banner here. You can click on either one and it will take you over to the My Index Game app. Now, if you're accessing this for the first time, you will need to allow authorization. So when you're prompted with an allow for authorization, do click the green button, which says allow. And once you've done that, you'll be presented with the screen that you're seeing now, which is My Index Game app, which is a portfolio management tool personalized for the players that you hold in your Football Index portfolio. Now, the players that are currently in my portfolio and in this example portfolio here um, are the ones that I've added through my port on Slack. So some of you may need to do some tidying up with my port and deleting some players and you can do that either way. You can remove them on Slack or you can come onto here and just click on the uh, red X's for any players that you no longer hold but are still within your uh, my port. Now when you delete them on here or on my port both pieces of data are synced, so you will always have a up-to-date list on um, my index game or on my port. So both piece, piece of um, uh, both tools are, are synced across. So when you log in, uh, you're presented with your portfolio screen where you will see a portfolio value based on uh, the number of shares you hold. You will also see a seven day, three day and 24 hour profit loss figure, which is a rolling figure uh, based on the current buy prices of the players in your portfolio. You also have the ability to filter your portfolio on various different pieces of information, such as competition, position, buy price, age and even spread. Um, if you need to add any players, like I mentioned just now, you can add them through my port or you can add them here where you click on the add button. And we're just going to add um, Rashford, and we're just going to pretend we own 500, create, and the portfolio value will update along with all the 7-day, 3-day, 24-hour um, figures. So it's a good indicator of your current um, profit loss figures. As you scroll down, you will see uh, the players in your portfolio. Now you can view all if you have lots of different players, a high quant uh, quantity of players. Click on all and it will show you all your players in one screen. You can search for players and the information you see is pretty self-explanatory um, with all the different um, players that you currently hold. Now if you've got players in my port, when you first load your screen, these numbers will be showing up as one. Now if you want to update all the quantities, you'll just need to click on the quantity, like I've just done there, just clicked on 350, and I can update this now to 400. And that information there gets updated, as well as the information um, that you see at the top. Now with all of these columns, you can sort, so I'm just going to sort my portfolio here by spread, and I can see now uh, smallest to largest. If you've got a long num uh, large num uh, large portfolio, you'll be able to um, view this information and be much more insightful. You can see value and the weight of that player within your portfolio. Then you've got some uh, price information based on short, medium, and long term uh, time frames. So the short term here is five minutes, fifteen minutes, thirty minutes, and sixty minutes. Now, if you wanted to update this, there's a cog here which you can click short, medium, and long. So medium term is by hours, and long term is by days. Now each of these you can also now sort by whichever time frame you want. You know, If you just wanted to view price moves for players in your portfolio over the last seven days, you can see who's dropping and who's rising. And that is essentially how you manage your portfolio um, on here. You've also got, and for some of you, if you've been using my list, you will have your my list players uh, synced across to my index game. Now it's the same features here where you can filter your watch list by um, various different metrics and it's uh, you can analyze players in your watch list that are now come to a point where you can either bid on them or start buying them based on whether they're rising or falling. You can also add to your watch list from here too. That is the watch list and portfolio. Now the third area is player universe. 
Now, Player Universe is essentially all the players on Football Index. Now, all players on the Football Index, you can now sort by um, any of these headers here, and it's the same time frames that you saw on your portfolio. So I'm just going to do a quick filter for League One players, uh, all midfielders and forwards. So you can see there I've selected both. All players with a spread of 25% or more and below 24 years of age. Now, when I go down, you can see all of this information. Now, what I want to do is just sort by spread. Now, I can see that Timothy Weyer here, based on my criteria, has the smallest spread at 25.4%. Now, as I go through, there may be players that I think, okay, yes, I can probably put a bidding for this player if it's somebody that I'm interested in buying ready for the League One kickoff. And you can keep an eye on these spreads and you can keep an eye on any price changes um, once you add them to your watch list or your portfolio. When you add players to your watch list and your portfolio, they will be synced to your My Port and My List. So you will also get price alerts for when they move by the uh, triggers that are currently set up for price alert notifications. So hopefully that's all the information you need to help you get started with my index game. Um, any questions you may have, head, head over to Slack. There is um, a premium chat channel which you can just ask for help. Uh, if there's any questions that you have about how to use it or if something's not quite right, then head over there and just ask a question. Um, so that covers off my index game. So if you're an existing member, head over to the index game dashboard, log in, click on the link. If you're not joined up yet, head over to the index game website, click on the join now button and check out the premium plans that we've got on offer. You can pay monthly or you can pay uh, for a discounted price over six months. So do check that out. Thanks for watching.